Last Days of Old Earth is a deep strategy game set in a cold and bleak far future, where you compete against a relentless enemy hellbent on driving you away from the few resources that still remain. In this video, I'll guide you through the basics of play within the overworld map. Each player has a deck of cards that represents their forces. Whether playing as the Sky Watchers or the Automata, you start with a number of cards in your hand and spend action points or AP to draw more. The amount of AP and the turn order for each player within a round is determined by who wins the initiative roll. When you have spare resources, you can spend them to increase the number of initiative dice you roll, improving the chance you'll go first and receiving an AP boost in the process. When you have enough resources and AP to play a card, you simply drag it from your hand to your headquarters or an outpost. Let's play a powerful hero card now. Each hero in Last Days of Old Earth commands a set number of units, has a special amount of abilities that confer bonuses to your army, ensures how your army can build facilities, and has an amount of initiative that can turn the tide of combat in your favor. Now having created an army and assigned units and a hero, it's time to explore our surroundings a little bit more. You spend action points when moving, and happily we currently have enough to utilize our army's full movement allowance to order them to this location. Here we found a hex tile that, if we build a collector on it, will produce an additional resource for us every turn. The more resources we have, the more powerful cards we can create, the better we can dominate our opponents. If you don't use all your action points in a round, you build up a bar at the top of the screen which once filled adds one point to the surplus counter, which in turn can be traded in for a resource of any kind. This boundary line shows us that if we move an army outside of its confines, it will move slower and perform less efficiently in combat. We definitely don't want that, so we'll create an outpost which expands the boundary out further, allowing us to move more freely around the map. The environments of Last Days of Old Earth may look inhospitable, but if used correctly they offer a multitude of tactical advantages. You might decide to place your army in a ruin to confer a strategic bonus, or march them to the top of a steep incline for a better view of the battlefield, or perhaps stumble upon an encounter that rewards you with more resources. But look! An enemy on the horizon! In our next video, we'll fight, and I'll reveal more about exactly how combat works in the last days of Old Earth.